Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Mango etc. And I'm here today to bring in a review for One Piece Mango Chapter 945. So, the whole thing with Zoro and Sanji and everything going on there, and you know, the, uh, the trouble? That's not the word I'm looking for. But you know, they're causing the ruckus and they're causing trouble, bringing attention to themselves that they shouldn't be bringing, and that's standard straw hat behaviour, I was going to say standard Luffy behaviour, but it seems to be leaking into the rest of the straw hats as well, but you know, that's standard straw hat behaviour, but it's not what I was expecting at all. In the chapter we see Zoro facing off one of um, Orochi's henchmen or whatever you want to call them, we see them facing off, and now uh, it's mentioned by Zero and no, he's like, you know, who the hell is this guy? And we can see he's been able to go blow for blow with Zoro using only two swords. You gotta remember at this time, I think it was one of my subs, he was like, I was expecting, and he said, we was talking about last chapter, and he told, said to me he was expecting, you know, some Santoru greatness from Zoro. But at this present moment in time, if I'm not mistaken, he's still missing the sword. He's still missing the sword. One of his swords is stolen at this moment in time. So, no Santoru for a while. <laughs> no Santoru for a while. But, yeah, he did say in toe for toe. They're going blow for, he's keeping up blow for blow, and that is it. Um, no greatness there, really, not at least, uh, not in my opinion. When you go over to Sanji now, he's facing off against X Drake, and no greatness there either. Uh, for the most part, he's defending and getting sidetracked by, by what Zoro is doing. He was going to go in for attack, we see, uh, at least I saw one attempt to attack within this um, chapter. But he senses attack coming from X Drake, and he didn't goes on the def on the defensive. The attack that X Drake delivers doesn't seem to damage Sanji any. But this chapter has got me thinking: Can Sanji defeat X Drake without his um raid suit? I should hope so. I really hope so. I don't. I. Don't. <laughs> I really don't want it to be a thing where Sanji is constantly relying on that raid suit. I want this raid suit going. <laughs> Probably a very unpopular opinion, but I want the raid suit gone. I have choked, and I'm actually kind of serious about this. I want the raid suit to be what So Good King was to Usopp. You know, we saw it twice, and then it was gone. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I'm hoping for when it comes to this trade suit, but I don't think that's going to be the case. I think we will see it again. But like I was saying, this chapter did make me think: Can Sanji do anything against X Drake without the raid suit? And if not, that's really disappointing. So that's what we get in the chapter, and like I was saying, not what I was expecting at all. I thought when we saw, I think it was two chapters ago now where we leave off with Sanji and Zoro, that where I thought the next chapter, or not even if it was, even if it didn't have to be the next chapter, I just thought this whole thing with them would be just them two going at it, dealing with their opponents there, while arguing at the same time, saying, you know, saying to each other, you know, like, yeah, I've got this, you fall back, just step back, I don't need your help. And then obviously the other one would be like, no, why don't you step back, blah, 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 blah. That's what I thought that this confrontation was going to be. Doesn't seem like we're going to get that. We do have the other straw hats helping, and I'm fine with that. But we're not shining bright like a diamond right here, right now, if I'm honest. At least not for me, anyway. We're not shining bright like a diamond right now. And yeah, that's all I've got to say about it, really. So as the chapter goes on, we have Kinemon begging Ashura. Man, is, oh, please. Man, begging Ashura, you know, join this fight. Help us out, bro. Please, please, please. Uh, uh, at the end of the day, he's going to join another kid. There's no way he's not joining. Uh, but he does say for now, you know, like, you know, i got to show you guys something. Uh, what this something is, I don't know. If you've got any opinions or thoughts about what this is, it could be, please let me know. Share, share that with me. I'm really interested to know. So, as the chapter goes on, Law has come back for his boys. He wants his boys back. So he's come to where they have captors where he runs into Hawkins. Hawkins has got his boys. 
and he's hired in Beppo out of sight because Hawkins knows how Lord's Devon Fruit ability works. So then again, I just had a thought. He's confident. He's confident. But basically, it's leaving off of a conversation between Law versus Hawkins. And now this has just got me thinking. Because my initial thought was, yes, Hawkins essentially has the lives of four of those um, subordinates in his hands, you know, the party right now. He claims that in order to get his life, he has to kill three of his subordinates. Now, I just realized, you no, know, he's confident. I just, re I've just, <laughs> I've just realized that he's confident. When I was first reading it, when I first read it, I just thought, okay, I was like, right, well, okay, he's got, um, he's got, he's got the lives, but you know, surely Law can do something with his um, devil fruit ability to undo his voodoo, whatever he does, you know, however he gets like their lives joined to his voodoo dolls. I reckon, and I still do, that uh, Law could have undone it with his devil fruit ability. But like I've been saying. Hawkins' confidence, but his confidence could be one of two things. It could be that he knows that Law can't do it, or he's confident that Law won't get a, capable, or a chance to do it. But either way, I am kind of interested to see this fight. And now, the reason why I say kind of interesting is because so far, from what we have seen of Hawkins, he's not that very interesting of a fight. I remember his fight with Zora and Luffy, and I remember thinking to myself, okay, he hasn't shown no hacky, he hasn't shown no kind of reaction speed because he's taken hits. He's been taking it after taking it, and that's fine if that's the kind of fighter he's supposed to be. If he's supposed to be a tank, someone who can take hits and then dish out big blows, fair enough. But from what we have seen so far, it has not been that interesting. And I reckon, I definitely think, regardless of what kind of fight he, he's supposed to be, he's too reliant on his devil fruit ability. Even if he's supposed to be, like I've just been saying, even if he's supposed to be a tank, you're supposed to someone who's supposed to be to take hits and, um, yeah, to, to take it and then dish out the heavy blows. He should still know how he, he should still be able, yeah, he should still be dodging attacks in that because just in case, <laughs> just in case, he should be savoring the lives that he's willing to sacrifice. If you get what I'm coming from, for, yeah, from what we've seen of Hawking so far, I don't think he's um, that impressive opponent. And I honestly think in a fight, Law should be able to take out Hawkins, no problem. That's how I feel. So moving on to the last bit of the chapter. Again, another disappointment for me because I thought that Big Mum could still happen, not going to lie. Big Mum was just going to go in there, rampage, cause a ruckus. Luffy would, be, Luffy would be able to free himself, free kid, free killer. They'll be out there. That's what I thought was going to happen. But we didn't get at this chapter. Like I said, we could still get it. But what we did get was kind of funny, where we have Big Mom, she's hopped in there, obviously she still doesn't have her memories, she's like, yo, food now. Queen is like, no, you're not getting no food, the food here is mine. And he shows the confidence to fight Big Mom. He's showing no fear in front of Big Mom. And I thought, at first I thought, okay, yeah, that's good. But then I realised, mm, it's not that great. <laughs> Hawk, I'm not Hawkins. Brooke has stood in front of Big Mom and showed no fear. So the fact that <laughs> Queen is doing it, Queen is doing it, who's should be by far a better fighter than Brooke. It, it, it doesn't seem that impressive there and then when you say it like that. There seems to be going to be a fight between Big Mom and the Queen, and now I don't know, because initially I was thinking. This would be a good way to see just how far Commander level, Commander Yonko level is from Yonko's. But then I started to deep what I was thinking and where we commanders could come in all shapes and sizes, similar to how 
warlords come in all shapes and sizes because we know that Whitebeard had however commanders he had some being stronger than others significantly we know um but I still think it could possibly be a good way to see just how far commander level command Yonko commander level is away from the actual Yonko himself because I had the interest no, I didn't have an com interesting conversation it was really what my friend said to me in real life where he reckons that not when but he reckons that Katakuri could give Big Mom a good fight one on one and when I when he said that to me in my mind I was thinking really and even now I'm thinking really I don't know I don't know but maybe this could be a way to see um like I was just saying the difference in the difference in level uh as for now though <laughs> Big Mom Doc with a heavy blow and now I hope I sincerely hope that uh, he Queen's not one shot because that would make the level between Commander and Yonko whoa, way, way stretched, way stretched out there. Luffy is gonna have to would have to go on another time skip and train if that's the, if that's the case. But we'll we will see. I honestly don't think Queen is done. I do think he'll get up get up to continue the fight. Mm -hmm. Possibly give Big Mom a good fight, maybe, I don't know. But I do know what I reckon now what I reckon is that the end result would be Big Mom uh getting the W, but I don't think we will get a full fight anyway. So because of my disappointments, I'm gonna give this chapter a two star rating and call it a review like always guys I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already please guys my YouTube channel, but most importantly take care, have a nice day.